then comes Are You Still Down That's with right. Tupac. Yeah. So tell me how that song developed. Well, it's interesting. I had this friend, uh, I, have this, I have this boy, his name is uh, Bezo. And uh, Bezo goes back to the Yo! MTV rap days. So Bezo knew Tupac. And Bezo was at the How Do You Want It video shoot. And Bezo calls me up and says, guess who's a fan of your music? And I'm at his video shoot right now. And you need to get down here, like, right now. And I said, who? who where, where you at? I'm at Tupac's video shoot for How Do You Want It. I said, oh, okay, cool. He's like, come down here right now. I said, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Came down. It was like Fort Knox. <laughs> it's, getting, <laughs> it's like getting through, like, a barricade to get through, like, another one, like, to show, like, my ID to get searched to go through another metal detector. I mean, it was Death Row. It was, death Row it was at insane. its height. With the beef at its height, I mean, how do you want it? Yeah, I, I remember when that song came out, I think he was beefing with Biggie and yeah, the East Coast, West Coast was. War. Was, this, was, this was crazy. Yeah, I think Hit Em Up was already out. So, yeah, so this was, was like really, and, and Tupac was the biggest artist in the world, essentially, yeah. of any genre. Well, he had called specifically to have me come down to the video shoot. So mm -hmm. I came down. I remember I had Eric B from Eric B and Rakim, mm -hmm. you know, the DJ Eric B. He, he met me. He met me at the gates, you know. And he's like, "What's up, man?" I was like, you know, in my car, and I was playing my beats. And he, what's that? What's that? Was, Something new? I'm playing, you know. And uh, he, he got in for a second. We I played him some beats. He's like, "Man, you need to play this for Pac. Come bring this in." So I brought the same beat tape, you know, in for Pac. And I saw Pac. Met him. Saw Casey and JoJo in there. Johnny J. You know, rest in peace as well. He was the one who made the, the beat for Are You Still Down? Uh, he produced the beat. And, uh, uh -huh. and that was one of Tupac's main producers. Yes, it was. So, so he made that for you? Yes. Well, he uh -huh. made that for, for Pac, essentially. And in Pac, so the story is uh, I was playing my beats for, for Tupac, and he immediately started to re freestyle right in front of me. I remember Sway and Tech were both there, and they are both witnesses to this day. They were like, I remember when he heard your beats, he just lit up and started just rapping right there, you know, start freestyling. So I was like, man, we got to put this down in the studio. And then Casey and Jojo were like, oh man, look, man, you got you one right now, you know? <laughs> like, they knew it was going to happen, right? So I was like, okay, well, maybe we'll make this happen. I didn't really expect it to happen right away, right? So after that, I kind of went home like thinking, okay, maybe that, that, that might happen. Two weeks later, he gives me a call. Come down to Can-Am Studios. Mm -hmm. All right, so I come down to Can-Am Studios. And he's got all the gear there for me to basically make a beat. But I look um, at the parking lot, in the parking lot when, when I'm parking, there's a Burgundy Rolls Royce out there, or Bentley, whatever it was. And my CD is sitting my first CD, Bonafide, is sitting in the driver's side on the, on the you know, driver's side seat. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's Pac's car. Like, oh, he, he was playing my music. That's tight, right? So just, that was always locked in my, you know, my mind. When I, before I even got in the session, I knew that he had the album. So uh, I walked in and I saw Pac and he was like, you know, so let me hear some beats. So I played him the beats and then he's like, let me play you some of mine. The first beat he played me was Are You Still Down? Uh -huh. The beat. The beat for Are You Still Down? It's Johnny okay. Jay's beats. And I was like, that's the one. So I, I said, damn what I was going to play. <laughs> this is the one right here. You know? okay. And uh, right away we got to it. And you know, it was about three hours in. I mean, we were pretty much done with the song. I mean, we, we talked about relationships. We talked about being in relationships that had gone wrong and sort of like wanted to holler back, being like on some reminiscent kind of like vibes, you know, and um, almost like that, that drunken phone call, you know, late night, like to your ex, like, you know, you still think about me, <laughs> you know, that kind of vibe, right? <laughs> but in a song, you know, and, um, and at the same time, nobody had done a collaboration between uh, R&B and, &B and, and, and hip-hop, it was very rare. I mean, Mary J had done it with Met, Method Man, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Bell Bib DeVoe Bob, were doing Bell, it. Bell Bib DeVoe were doing yeah. it, but it was more like, they were kind of like, almost like, 
high energy kind of. It it wasn't hip hop like we knew hip hop was like a real rap song with a singing you know a singing artist. Yeah. You didn't really have that. I think Jody Watley and Rakim did some early on, and mm, I just right. you just never really heard that sort of like that aggressive um, delivery of a rap, and then you know the softness of a singer right next to it. Because right after we did that song, it became to be this like, sort of like this, it would just, everybody started doing it. And it was like, it just, it just caught on. And I'm not saying that we, you know, we were the ones to like first do it or anything like that. I just, I just remember when it wasn't something that was a very popular thing. And I remember turning that song in, oddly enough, them saying, you can't put this out. And really? he was still alive, mind yeah. you. And then he passed. Okay, so why wouldn't they let you put it out? Well, they were very concerned about the fact that we were two completely different artists. Uh, I had this sort of like real clean, you know, lover's boy kind of vibe, you know, uh, romantic R&B dude. And then you had, you know, Tupac, thug, you know, thug thug life, you know what I mean? <laughs> and how are you going to mix these two vibes and make, you know, he just came off... Um, Someone to love with featuring Babyface and, and Pretty Girl and uh, you know we c we can't really grime his image up too much. That's what they they thought and I thought well that's not really what it is. It's, this is me doing this. This happened for real. This is like a collaboration that happened for real. Mm -hmm. And this this is what's happening out there in the world. People are running into each other and they want to collaborate. And whether it makes sense to you or not is is not the issue. You know. This is something that's gonna make sense in the future, but y'all gotta let this happen, you know? And um, so they, they sort of like, were like, all right, we'll, we'll put that in the way, we'll see, we'll see. And then he died. 